We're going to do goniometry of the wrist, uh, the radiocarpal and midcarpal joint, and we're going to look at uh, extension um, and flexion. So we'll start out with extension. You want to make sure first grossly assess the range of motion, so see how far they can extend. Uh, if they're limited, you want to then measure that using your goniometer. Uh, when we measure extension, you want the patient sitting. Um, you can use the table uh, for our demonstration purposes and recording. We weren't able to do that, but uh, you can see his forearm and wrist will be supported. Uh, and then what you want to do is have them uh, extend. Your axis is going to be your triquetrum, so your axis is aligned at your triquetrum. You want the proximal arm to go uh, along the midline of the ulna, and then your distal arm will be parallel to the fifth metacarpal, and you'll measure your extension there. And then with flexion, you'd have them turn over, and you would have them flex. Right. And you would measure this again, you'd go on this side. Um, so you would be, let me go ahead and go over to this, Not right here, just for demonstration. So again, you'd uh, be at the triquetrum, then you'd be along the midline of the ulna, okay, and fifth metacarpal, and then have them come up and measure flexion there. 